Good morning and welcome to our Tuesday morning contribution for our thought for the day. And we begin with a short reflection. They walked a new path. And we read in verse 12 of Matthew in the Christian New Testament Bible, chapter 2, verse 12, they departed to their own country by another way. When it is dark enough, one can see the stars. It has been dark enough for us to see the star again during the Christmas season. A star pointing to the one remaining hope for ourselves and our faltering world. Wise men from the East were convinced that it would lead them to something or someone significant and set out to follow its directing rays. They met Christ and going into the house they saw the child with Mary his mother and they fell down and worshipped him. God's Christmas gift to the world, the Lord Jesus Christ, makes available to every person the peace of sin forgiven, the love and acceptance of a righteous God, the promise of life eternal. And whatever the particular star that leads a person to Christ, he or she must individually and personally meet this Christ. They gave him gifts. Then opening their treasures, they offered him gifts. And we are aware of the high cost of living. We still have much to learn about the high cost of loving. God so loved the world that he gave his only son. The meaning of worship, the giving of ourselves to God and to others on God's behalf, ought to be the consequence of Christmas in all our lives. And they walked a new path. They departed to their own country by another way. Their response to this meeting with Christ symbolizes what ought to happen in response to our meeting with him. If we plunge into the new year continuing to walk in the old paths of selfishness, we indicate that Christmas has done little for us. A new life means a new walk, a new pass, and new goals, attitudes, motivations. God, grant that we may walk in the paths that Christ sets before us today and a little prayer afterwards. Help me, O oh God, to shun the old paths of shallow and impotent living and dare to trust and serve you faithfully and obediently as your child and servant. So there we've read, they walked a new path. In this new year, we always start with the best of intentions I know I used to do, but I gave up making resolutions because I always broke them. So now instead, live one day at a time. But what is your New Year resolution? Well, I pray that you're making time for you. Time for your mind, your body and your spirit. We can't alienate the spirit by just focusing on the mind or the body, because if we do, there's an imbalance. And cosmic consciousness, Christ consciousness, is embraced where there is balance. And with this balance, there is harmony. And then there's always a divine connectedness. 
And if you wish to walk a new path today, but you're unsure, then what I would recommend is make some time. Go to the powder room, as the Americans would say. Chill out and have some me time. It may only be for five or ten minutes, but in those five or ten minutes you could achieve the miraculous by using your gift of free will and calling on the divine to show you the path, not the path you want to go on, because that could lead to self-destruction, but the path that God had already planned for you. Or are you a coward? Are you afraid to take that step, that leap of faith in trust? Let us relax now, because this may be the only time that you've got to relax today. So we're going to focus just for a moment on our breathing, our conscious breathing. Just allow yourself to be still. And in the quietness of your sacred space, ensure that you are comfortable. In breathing in, we say, I calm my body. And in breathing out, we smile. Dwelling in the present moment, I know this is a wonderful experience. And in breathing in again, we say, I am aware of my heart and in breathing out we say I smile on my heart and now we say I vow to eat drink and walk in ways that preserve my truth and my well-being and relax now Relax in the presence of all that you are as a child of God, a child who is dearly loved, a child who is blessed each day by the abundance of a loving, selfless God. And though many are called to this banquet of love, only a handful choose to receive God's abundance. And yet there are many, many, many children of God who argue, who moan and groan about God, not listening to them, not providing for them. Could it be the reason being that they don't listen to God, the God who is seeking them out to bless their lives? A God who asks that we surrender our heart to love. God is a God of love. And you don't need to become a monastic to experience that love. You can receive it right now by inviting, invoking, and calling on the name of Jesus the Cosmic Christ, or whoever your God is. It could be Vishnu, Ganesh, Krishna. Call and receive. Let us relax now and ask the Spirit of God to show you today God's path for your life. And if you're truly sincere, I guarantee you this today, 
that you will be overwhelmed by the generosity of a loving God. Trust me, I am still overwhelmed by God's goodness and love to me. I've not always been a holy Joe. I've abused many of God's gifts. I have fallen foul many, many times. But I now realize as I grow older that God is a selfless God an abundant God, a God of love, a God of many faiths, and who calls you and me to receive our rightful inheritance as a beloved of God. And let today be the first day of the rest of your life. Amen. Have a wonderful day, my friends, and I look forward to our next top up tomorrow. Namaste, shalom, inshallah, paxet bonum om shanti, solo di caritas, salam alaikum, and may the peace of your God Goddess reawaken in your heart that you truly are loved. And that you will always be loved, no matter to what depths you may sink to. God will always love you.